So it turns out we've been had by both sides. That's right, we've been had by both sides. If you think about it, all this misinformation that goes on, if you consider it a military operation, as the 107 likes to say, and others like to say, then you look at it and we're pawns in all this, meaning the information that's come out, there's been clues along the way which have been wildly helpful in uncovering different things. But at the same time, those clues also lead to other things that are basically misinformation. We've gone from one event to another, nothing really happening maybe the way it's stated and so a lot of this misinformation then is pretty normal as you know it looked like world war ii they had a bunch of fake armies and fake tanks uh, treads in the ground fake treads and uh, noises and stuff it's all designed within misinformation in mind again when things don't happen as maybe they've been stated then it thickens our skin. We start to realize, oh, we need to dig deeper. Regardless of what source it is, we have to dig deeper and rely on something that's that's a little bit different than what you might be physically able to see. You know, spirit, intuition, alignment with something larger than self, so to speak. The more you connect to who you really are, the more your true light is what you've got to calibrate to and others don't take it very well but when it's not bothering you it'll stop bothering them if you're bothered by everything that bothers everybody then everybody's bothered all the time but after a while if you're not bothered by it and they notice you're not bothered by it after a while they get tired of being bothered by something that you're not bothered about because the whole reason that they wanted to bother you to the point that you were bothered about it was to control you and when you're not bothered by what they're bothered about then you're free you want your goat to be ungettable you want your chain to be unyankable you want your buttons to be unpushable because you've calibrated to who you really are when you calibrate to who you really are you don't have a goat to be gotten so even though they want to get your goat they can't get it they can't get it they can't yank your chain they can't push your button because you've calibrated to something else and now you're not having a tug of war there's no battle and in that sense, you can quote unquote survive misinformation and be able to make sense of it without getting derailed or thinking that, oh no, this or that didn't happen. So, you know, this whole thing is a wash. When in fact, it doesn't matter if this or that doesn't happen. Even if, let's say, the one, one big event happens afterwards they still have all these other events it will always be the next event and the event after that and after that and after that and so that you're always chasing the next event i took a break for a while from the whole thing and when i came back not much had changed i realized that in a lot of ways the alternative were kind of going in circles and kind of saying a lot of the same things and not really coming out with anything new and yet at the end of all that they said i always felt this sense of dread just like I would with the regular news. So in a sense, I don't feel like they're really moving the ball forward. They're more just kind of kicking around with each other. And in a way, you know, defaulting to this old media type where it's like, well, blame it on the other people or show what the bad stuff that's happening. <laughs> and then an occasional good thing. But the good thing is like, you have to read into it so much that it's really hard to say positively that it's a good thing. Like for example, there's smoke in the, uh, at the White House uh, lawn. You know, that must mean something, you know, and, and trying to, to basically, from these small little tiny clues, get some sort of meaning from it. And so in that sense, they're just kicking the ball around. And so when I stopped listening to all that, I realized, you know, life's just going by, right? So it's not waiting for that one event to occur. It's rather seeing it as already happening. Another way I like looking at it is it's like taking a trip in an RV. In an RV. It gives you a greater fluidity to have that trip start before you even get in the car, meaning you're not trying to get anywhere. As soon as like, let's say you get on, on an, or you try to get on an airplane, <laughs> you get pretty frustrated by all the events that happen to delay that trip. And now those become frustrations rather than being you're already on the trip while waiting for whatever. So that you're not waiting for one thing or another to happen. You're already on your trip. 
you've already started. So in that sense, you could think of it the same way. In this whole, in this whole scenario, we're already on the trip. We're already, we've already started. It's already part of the journey. And another part of this is when you look at it and they say, oh, the military is in control. Well, which part of the military? Because when you look, like 107 saying only like there's still 5%, 10% that are not in agreement, are not in alignment. And so it becomes that battle again. And it's always been all along. If you listen to the X-22 report, he always says it's always going to come down to the military. Well, then it comes down to the military. And what if they never pull the trigger? Even though they've said, okay, well, Patriots in control, let's say, or military's in control or whatever. But you still have situations happening where, like, borders opening up. There's still decisions that are made outside of their control that affect the whole dynamic. So even though, you know, people are like, well, they don't really have full control. They don't necessarily need full control. They just need part of it and to eat away. And if that's, in that sense, I think there's a tipping point for which, you know, if you let it go for too long, there's a tipping point. And 107 talks about this tipping point. Great ruses were put in play uh, by both sides to fool each other about what was possible, what wasn't possible, where it would be, how it would come. But they, they both knew that there was a very tight window mm -hmm. to do the assault, um, to have the army moving across Europe um, during the summer months when you didn't have uh, muck and right. goo to go through with tanks, when you didn't have these uh, wet areas uh, where the combat favored a moving army, uh, not a dug-in army. And so uh, they knew that the battle uh, parameters were somewhat set. There may, may have been some options where the point of engagement would be, how the beachhead would be uh, uh, you know, built out but they both knew it was coming. And in reality, at this moment in time here uh, in, in America, um, the whole world is watching uh, this moment because they know it's not over and it's still coming. I there was a tipping point for the weather and the tides and so on. And everybody knew that that tipping point was there. So that's a hint that there must be one here as well, knowing what that tipping point is. What's great is things are actually happening on a local level, regardless of what happens elsewhere. You'll see these local sheriffs that have actually made it so that their citizens have a choice. And it's at that level you can make a difference. And you can also see the states are doing stuff, but also links in the description on things you can do. But at the very least, probably the best thing to do is uh, stay in relatively positive mode uh, because that's going to get you further. It's going to help things more than if you just transpire on this downward spiral that leaves you feeling like you would if you watched the evening news. <laughs> I'm hoping those things go along to have some live events and some more activity on the channel itself. So watch out for that. Um, just hoping to bring some more positivity to the whole thing. And uh, so I'm putting together a few different things that I think will be cool. So watch for that. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time.